Create yourself a new world. They say east or west. Home is best. The Property Show decodes the country's opaque property market from the simple bungalows to the marble luxurious palaces. Enjoy a new world of interior and exterior designing and construction tips. Keep updated with the market trends. Don't miss this exciting real estate experience. Inspiring. It's The Property Show. Now showing on The Property Show. Welcome to the Property Show Rwanda, to all the beautiful Rwanda people, Mura Honeza. It's good to have you on the Property Show. You make this show what it is. Remember, our core purpose is to ensure that Rwanda becomes a first world country. And we are in agreement with Vision 2020. We hail what President Paul Kagame is doing, and that's what the Property Show focuses on. To show you the beautiful uh, properties that are on the market, the beautiful houses, but also importantly, even if you cannot afford you don't have enough mafaranga to buy those houses. At least you can learn something about these properties, interior designing, landscaping, and so many other features that you can learn from the property show Rwanda. However, of course, we appreciate our segment sponsors, Nina Interiors, Roofings, and our content partners, Platinum, uh, Plat Properties, uh, Lamudi Rwanda, and of course, uh, uh, Century Rwanda. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at what we have lined up for you today. Today on The Property Show. Hello there, it's Bethel again with your interior designing tips. Today I'm here to talk to you about wine bottles. I know Christmas is done and then there are so many wine bottles lying around in these different beautiful designs and your question is what should I use them for? Good news is you don't have to actually leave them lying around there. You can actually use them to make artifacts. The first way you can design them is by painting them. All you need is a couple of bottles, paint and a few paint brushes. You can do zebra crossings, stripes, polka dots, anything that you want. You can actually make beautiful artifacts out of this. The second way you can actually design these bottles is using thread. You gently apply glue onto the thread and then apply the thread onto the bottles. But keep in mind that all the colors used should be according to your color skin, be it in your corridor, your sitting room. And then there you are, ready to decorate your sitting room or your corridor with your self-made artifacts and ready to intrigue visitors. Thank you. Still to come... East African Granite uh, has positioned itself uh, locally in Rwanda and also in the region. Africa is fast evolving as far as the real estate industry is concerned. And I'll tell you what, Rwanda has not been left behind. As far as East Africa is concerned, Rwanda's housing market is fast moving in a speed that is not told. However, at the property show, Nina Interiors always brings you our property of the week. Some of you always say to me, but those properties are expensive. Yes, they might be expensive, but there's something you can learn from some of the properties that we actually uh, feature on the show. Right now, let's go take a look at what the property of the week is. And remember, you can learn quite so much as far as the architectural designs are concerned, the interior designing, the landscaping, the character of the property, so much that you can learn. Over to the property of the week now. Looking for a real furniture experience? At Nina Interiors, we add value to your desires with the latest wide range of quality office and home furniture. Step into a new reality of a marveling collection. We give you quality and comfort for relaxed evenings at home and a great work experience. Enjoy our special deals on dining sets, masterpieces for the living room, office furniture that creates a muck and exquisite decor. We believe we have what it takes for a wow experience. 
So why not come to our Nina Interiors showroom at plot number 1410 Muhima Road. Deep in the heart of Chigali are the residential homes that display a state-of-the-art comfort from the very start. A luxurious celebration with artistic brilliance, state-of-the-art technology and outstanding detail. When getting into the prominence, you will be embraced with the property's majestic charm. With its spacious compound, state-of-the-art architecture design. Taking its cue from the home's classical inspiration, this luxurious home has a beautiful flower garden that allows you to enjoy the fresh breeze as it comes any time of the day. The grand entrance to the main house is an elegant blend of thoughtful design and superior craftsmanship highlighted by the African design woodwork which makes a fine setting in the living room area. Combining African beauty with modern day design, the living room is designed with old African furniture with fine art paintings hanging down the wall on one side of the room and traditional African baskets hanging down on the other side. Separating the living room for the dining room is a well-designed wooden shelf that creates peace of mind and a sense of enchantment every day of life. The dining area is given a touch of traditional elegance that allows you to enjoy your meal at any time of the day. This fine property also has a second living room area that is given a comfort that allows you to enjoy that peace and quiet environment that you need in your home. The kitchen where no plumery task is too great to be combined with any wild beauty with a technological touch, an electric cooking stove with well-designed wooden cabinets. The private room is warm and intimate and has its own distinct character as well as its luxurious bathrooms. Attached to the balcony that overlooks the beautiful flower garden on the outside is actually more beautiful in the evenings if you to stand to relax after the end of a working day. Right at the beautiful breezes just at Lake Chigali Serena where we're just enjoying a bit of the breeze. I don't think you ever find this anywhere else. Anyway, it's the property talk. My name is Edwin Musime and uh, we're joined by a special guest, uh, Mr. Andrew Klaiji, who's the general manager for East Africa, East African Granite Industries. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you so much, Edwin. Now, we know that construction, the construction process, the construction industry at the property show, we believe so strongly in pushing for quality, uh, sustainable products, products that give you the excellence, the class and all that, because it's no longer building for the sake of building. Now, what does East African Granites st stand for, especially in the, in the area and the space of real estate and construction? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Edwin. As I told you um, uh, some time back, East African Granite uh, has positioned itself to be the best in Eastern Central Africa the best in uh, producing all dimensional stones. It is not uh, only uh, granite, but looking at all dimensional stone, uh, quartz, uh, basalt, uh, and, and masa marble. So we're looking at offering all our potential clients, both uh, locally in Rwanda and also in the region. In the region, we're looking at uh, DRC Congo, Burundi, Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. Mm. What are some of the, where do you get your, your products from and what makes them unique on the market? Uh, our, our, our factory is located in Nyagatari near the 20 kilometers uh, to the border of Kajitumba, the border with Uganda. 
and uh, we have our two quarries there. Mm -hmm. We are looking at uh, uh, increasing our, our current portfolio of colors uh, from four colors to eight colors. And Wait, all when you talk about colors, what exactly are these colors about? You know, granite is a natural rock. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that uh, we add in. When we're talking about colors, we're talking about a natural rock. A natural rock that uh, has no uh, addictives. Uh, we, we, we're looking at, uh, we have a gray color that has some grains of black. We have pink, we have black, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, white. Now we're looking at adding on more colors. Mm. So all these uh, quarries are in Rwanda. We have two at where the factory is located and some other areas within the country, in the north, in the south, in the west. Mm. So we are looking at uh, availing at least different options for all our potential clients, both locally and uh, export markets. What are some of the projects or what are some of the key clients that you've served that when people look around they say, ah, that brand was serviced by East African granite industries. You must have uh, come through Kigali International Airport. Uh, you, you saw the flooring and the cladding. That is uh, uh, East African granite products. And uh, we are looking at uh, Marriott Hotel. Mm. It's, a, it's a project that we're partnered with, uh, currently in its final stages of completion. We have Kigali City Hall, uh, the wall cladding and, uh, and uh, the tiling. We have this uh, Kigali Conventional Center. These are all major, major, major international projects mm. that we have been uh, partnering with to, to put our products up there for people to, to enjoy the experience. 2016 is here, uh, which from our perspective, we're excited to see that uh, as far as Rwanda is concerned and Vision 2020, uh, almost, it's almost business wrapped up and then to focus on Vision 2050. However, as we still look at uh, Vision 2020, as far as uh, East African Granite is concerned, how is your positioning in the fulfillment of this particular mandate and vision? Because when you, we, we, we definitely, I always say, cannot talk about uh, Vision 2020 being fulfilled minus good quality construction, good quality building, good quality interior designs. Where do you stand as far as this vision is concerned and servicing the people? When you talk about uh, Vision 2020, uh, it had some key uh, principles. Yes. It had some uh, key areas that were looking at to drive this economy. And as uh, East African Granite, uh, set, set up by, by private, uh, private investors, we're looking at contributing to that, uh, those strategies. Mm. They interweaven, uh, interweaven micro, macro, macro economics of, of, of this economy. Uh, we're looking at bringing in uh, foreign currency to, to supplement, uh, supplement uh, uh, the national budget. So uh, when, you, when we're talking about exports, we're, talking about, we're looking at all export markets within the region and international markets, yes. in the UK, in the US, yes. and West Africa. This, this, we, have already, uh, we have already gotten in touch with most of the trading partners that are going to, he to help us uh, increase our footprint in these markets. Yeah. So the more we export, the more we bring in foreign currency, and in the local market, the more we produce for the local consumers, the end users, the less the imports. Mm. So we'll have less imports from, uh, from uh, Asian markets, by providing homegrown solutions to the end users. Now, final remarks to the person that is viewing. Uh, one that's planning to construct an ordinary home, ones that, ones that are clients that are actually planning on the next big project in the region. What would be your final remarks to them that are watching right now? Yeah, one thing that I can uh, guarantee all our, our clients and partners, the partners I'm talking about, the contractors and the architects, is uh, to advise the end users about the availability of these products, both uh, external works and internal works. External works, I'm looking at uh, finishes like this. Uh, we're looking at uh, cobblestones. Uh, we're looking at wall cladding, granite wall cladding. We're looking at flooring, uh, vanity tops uh, for, for all hotel, uh, hotels and uh, uh, high traffic uh, uh, structures. So we are looking at uh, kitchen tops, we are looking at uh, even producing gra uh, aggregates mm. for people who are doing construction. So which, which countries, are, uh, if you can remind us on the countries that you're actually servicing with the product right now? Currently we're in Uganda, we're in Kenya, Tanzania and DRC, mm. but uh, we are planning to increase our footprint in all these markets by bringing, bringing on more uh, trading partners. Mm. More trading partners will be buying X Factory, and then we help them spread into uh, those export markets. Okay. Yeah. All right, Andrew. Thank you so much, and uh, we always long to be part of this success story as the property show Rwanda. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for seeing me. Cheers. Oh no. Um. 
It's my dad. Cover me. Yes. Ariko Nawe, is that any way to cover? When you have to cover something, cover it the right way. Only roofing Zion sheets have double coating that gives them a much longer life and are made with Japanese technology for best quality. Right here in Rwanda. With roofing Zion sheets, we've got you covered. Roofing's Manufacturing Rwanda, a member of the Roofing's Group. Spar is the name of this unique building located in Darmstadt, Germany. It is translated into English as Forest Spiral, which is suitable because of the general plan of the building and the fact that it has a green roof. The complex was designed by the world-famous Australian architect Hanna Weiser. Built by the Bavarian Darmstadt Company, Hanna Weiser's idea was to plan the building so that it rose up on the site in the form of an forested spiral. The design expresses irregular organic forms in an incorporable individualism. Spiral Forest contains 12 floors and 105 apartments, a parking garage, a kiosk, as well as a cafe and a bar. The cafe is located at the top of the residence, opening a breathtaking view. This building can't be unnoticed. The windows which appear as if they were dancing out of line the diagonal roof planted with grass shrubs, flowers and trees rise like a ramp along the UFO at its highest point. The windows of the world's bar which number over 1,000 are all unique. No two windows are the same. Similarly different handles are attached in each apartment to the doors and windows. Some of the apartments are decorated in Handelweiser's personal style and exhibit the colorful tiles in bath kitchen that are characteristics of this work. Furthermore, all the corners are rounded off in these apartments along the roof and the walls in an application of Hunderweiser's cost for reason of living. Only a few of the apartments interiors were designed individually. From the outside, the typical elements of Hunderweiser's personal style attract attention. The gilded onion domes, the absence of straight lines and sharp corners, the multicolored painting of the building in apt tones and the colorful ceramic points. This property is one that leaves you asking a million questions. But the one key question which is, what was the architecture thinking when he put this on paper? Well, why not answer your question? Go down and visit this property. Are you looking for a property to buy, sell, rent? Name it. It's on the property scan on the property show, of course, courtesy of our content partners, Lamudi Rwanda and uh, Plat Properties, as well as Century Rwanda, that always avails us the properties that we get to show you that are available on the market. Now, if you look at a property and you're interested in it, actually, get in touch with us, all the numbers that are right on the screen. We're saving you the hair serum, so running up and down, looking for that property. Let's go visual. Let's go property scanning now.
that's as far as we could go for this particular week. I always don't love this moment when the show is going to close because I know we want to see and watch more and more. Now, what I want to say to you is that if you're watching Property Show in Rwanda and you, there's something that you'd love to see on the show, actually, just go ahead and send us your request either on our Facebook page on the hotline that's right on the screen and we'll be able actually to adjust and give to you what you'd want to see on the show. Special thanks, of course, to Roofings. Roofings Rwanda, Roofings Manufacturing Limited Rwanda has got a lot in stock for you as far as construction is concerned. Durable, quality, efficient material uh, for you. And of course, uh, we've got uh, Nina Interiors on Muhima Road where the best furniture uh, that there is that you can think about is right on. And the big news is for Rwanda, the property and home show, call it an expo, is around the corner between the 16th and the 19th at Camp Kigali. Kam Kigali is just opposite the Serena Hotel. Serena Hotel, who are our partners on the property show now. Kam Kigali from the 16th to the 19th. And guess what? On the Saturday 19th, actually, there's a free seminar for you to learn a wide range of things that are concerning the real estate housing industry. So it's so much for you to plan for, and I believe it will greatly benefit you, benefit the nation of Rwanda. And that's all at the property and home show. Uh, Kigali, that's on the 16th to the 19th. Mark those dates and let's make it a point to be there. Property Show Rwanda will be there for us to be able to actually meet one on one with you for the very uh, first time. And to all of you, our viewers, thank you for making this show your number one choice. Until next week, remember to keep your hope alive. And, and until next week, remember to keep your hope alive. Imani Varinde. Next week on The Property Show. Another summer day has come and gone away in Paris and Rome, but I want to go home. Mm -hmm. 